I'm just reading through the comments on my some of my videos. Um, thank you for all the comments, by the way. I, I do read them all, even if I don't get a chance to answer them. Um, but there's one here from somebody called Brent, and he's asking, how do you follow a contour line? And I just thought that was quite an interesting question. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this. I, I'm actually up here doing something totally different, but I'll answer this if I can. Now, so Brent, the, the easiest way to do it is to use an altimeter. <laughs> It'll tell you, you know, if you're going up or down. A contour line, if you don't know, um, all it, it's a line that's drawn onto a map, and all it does, it, it joins points of equal height. So as long as you stay on that contour line, then you're not rising or um, going lower. Another way of doing it, without using a, an altimeter, is you, you can point at something, keep your arm sort of horizontal, just point at something that is at the same height as you and then walk to it. But most people what they do is they use a map, you know. <laughs> You'd expect me to say that, wouldn't you? So as a, and you follow a contour line on a map in the same way that you follow a compass bearing. As a, so let's have a look. So let's say that, you know, I've got a compass in my pocket. I've always got a compass in my pocket. <laughs> so here's my compass. I take a bearing of something on, on this wall here and I walk, I, I can see it's over there. Now, it doesn't matter how I get to it I, as long as I get to my destination. Let's say I want to get to the point that's over there, say 15 meters from where I am. I don't have to go in a straight line. I can go this way <laughs> and I can go this way and then I go back up. And then now I've actually arrived at, at the uh, destination. So I followed my compass bearing, but in a sort of, you know, all over the place sort of uh, <laughs> direction. This, by the way, this is, um, this is a Roman wall. Can you believe it? It actually looks, I'll drop this onto your screen. It actually looks better on, on Google Earth. Um, but this is, you can see this is the embankment. And down here, this is the, uh, this is the, the defensive ditch and it makes a big rectangle up here in the Yorkshire Dales, just above Gordale Scar, which is in that direction. Um, I think it was built in the year 71. I don't know how I know that, I just do. Anyway, so we've got our Roman camp. Now, as I said, following a compass bearing, you don't need to go in a straight line, and it's the same when you're following, you're following a contour line. Um, as an example, let's have a look. So I'm here, I'm on the, the 380 contour line just at the edge of the Roman camp and let's say that I'll drop this onto your screen let's say that I want to stay on this contour line so I want to go to where the the stream and the uh, the track the public right of way the little green dots where they join so that's also on the 380 contour line now I don't need to go down which way does it go so it go down there and then round and up there okay so I don't need to do that. Just by orienting my map, I know that that stream, tra um, stream track junction is in that direction. Okay, so I can follow it. Once I get to that, if I want to stay on the same contour line and say go to Gordale Beck, so I need to go over High Stony, High, High Stony Bank towards Gordale Beck where the the track goes through the wall, that's also on the 380 contour line. So it doesn't matter if I go in a straight line or if I lose height or gain height or whatever, but as long as I end up at that point, then I've, I've stayed on the same 380 contour line. So the trick is, Brent, is find something that is at the same height as you on the map and then walk to it. Doesn't matter if you go up and down, you know, as you're walking, as long as you end up at that point, then you've followed the contour line. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks for watching.